if you're an instrument teacher and you're working with um, young musicians, you have um, a responsibility to their musical development, but you also have an enormous responsibility, a duty of care to look after their musculoskeletal health. There are for young musicians five risk factors for playing related injury, which are a sudden increase in playing time, change of repertoire to something with a different technical demand, stress, something to do with posture and position or ergonomic setup of the kit. And the fifth one, which doesn't happen with adults, is growth spurts. As an instrument teacher working with children, it's really important to keep an eye when they're growing. And the th key things to look at are, um, are the music stands at the right height for a different size child. If they've grown, if they put their music stand up, piano stool height, any straps, stands, supports, chin rests, shoulder rests, are they moving as the child grows? They've got to grow as well. Um, and slightly contentious issue of when to change um, size of instrument. I think the time to change them onto bigger instruments is not immediately after a growth spurt, when they may fit a new instrument, but their bodies are particularly vulnerable to injury because the same strength muscle is now working over a bigger limb the same length soft tissues are now stretched over a longer limb, so they are relatively weaker, they're relatively less flexible. They become slightly uncoordinated. So let them be on their smaller instrument until they're used to their new size body and then change the instrument up. Some young musicians um, are extremely ambitious and extremely skilled and it's it's lovely to work with these pupils because they are you know they're making such phenomenal progress but and i'm not saying but in a, any bad way it is our responsibility to make sure that they progress in a musculoskeletally healthy way that they're not pushing themselves to overdo it um, you know we have an overview of the amount they're doing and it's important to just make sure that their bodies are keeping up with the demands that they want to play at if any of your pupils are experiencing pain that doesn't go away when they stop playing or is getting worse please get help from a medical professional, all right? Get them seen by someone at BAPAM, get them seen you know, initially, if necessary, by the GP, but don't ignore it and seek advice from someone who does know what they're doing, somebody who has got experience working with young musicians. <laughs>